Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 15th uh, European Higher Education Festival in Indonesia. So for 2023, uh, my name is Chandini Chandanila. You can call me Chandini. Today, we're going to have uh, four interesting universities. Hi, nice meeting companies. you. Hello. Uh, from, there are four schools coming from France. Uh, the first one is EM Strasbourg, and the second one is SK. We also have uh, Catch Business School and Neoma Business School as well. So today, we're going to talk to the uh, four representatives of these schools about la how life is actually going for students in the school and how you can get access to scholarships and what are the programs available. And we're going to talk about it all. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it on, on the uh, chat box and we're going to read the questions. So the speakers over here, they can answer your questions. So uh, don't worry if you don't speak, uh, you know, English or anything. So yeah, feel free to post your questions in Indonesian too. So I can help to read it out to our respective speakers. All right. So to start the session, uh, without further ado, uh, I would like to say hi first, perhaps, to the representative from EM Strasbourg over here. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So, Clara, hi. how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Right. Fine. I'm fine over here. So, really good to have you today, Clara. So, this is actually a question that I'm going to ask to uh, each one of you, uh, to each one of the speakers that we have today. Uh, but we're going to start from uh, Clara from EM Strasbourg. So Clara, I'm just wondering for EM Strasbourg, perhaps, you know, some people are still quite unfamiliar with what EM Strasbourg is, what you guys are actually doing and what kind of programs are actually available for students, especially from Indonesia, who would like to go to school in France, specifically to EM Strasbourg. Okay, so um, our school is located in the heart of Europe and uh, just a few steps from the European institutions. We're right by the border with Germany um, and we provide two main programs for international students. Um, so there's a, an undergraduate program, which is the Bachelor of International Business. Uh, and then for the graduate program, which is a Master in Management, which we call in here in France, a Grand École Programme. Um, and then it depends on the on the field that uh, interests the students. But we have uh, entrepreneurship, uh, finance, accounting, um, tourism management, etc. Um, for those who are interested exclusively in programs in English, we will have um, strategic and operational marketing, finance, um, and I'm forgetting one. Yeah, tourism management. All right. Okay, so basically there are different programs that students can choose when it comes to EM Strasbourg. So I'm just wondering, when it comes to, because EM Strasbourg is obviously also known as a, as a business school, as a, you know, uh, EM, and I call the management uh, Strasbourg. And I'm just wondering, uh, is there is there any, any, you know, any programs from the school in which students can have some kind of real life applications from what they're studying at school? and how to apply it to the real life. Uh, in order to apply to our school, there's usually a process that starts from December until May. Uh, everything is done online and they will have to take several uh, steps, which involve, of course, uploading certain documents and then going through some tests, a logical yeah. reasoning test, um, an English test and an interview with our jury. Once they've gone through all these steps, uh, in general, they have a, an answer within uh, 15 days. And of course, our team is always available to help them out if they have any questions during the process. All right. OK. All right. So thank you so much, Clara. I'm thank just you. gonna move ahead to the to the next speaker. I'm gonna get back to you later. Thank you. Uh, so we have a representative as well from Neoma. So Min, how are you? Hi, good to see you. Pleasure to be here virtually. Hi, Min. I hope you're doing well. Do you, do you hear so, me well? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. All right, so I'm just wondering, when it comes to uh, Neoma, for example, what kind of programs do you have at the moment at Neoma Business School that students from Indonesia can potentially explore? Okay, we have all level programs from bachelor to a PhD. 
So at the bachelor level, we have the four year bachelor. They can be taught completely in English, the same as the master programs. We have either the one year uh, master of science covering 12 different majors, a lot of options for students to choose either in marketing or finance or something more general or something very specific like a wine and gastronomy. And also we have the two year uh, master in management program Conigal. And also uh, this year, we we are very happy. We have a very good ranking in that one uh, in Financial Times. So uh, yeah. apart from that, in the, mass, in the PhD level, we have four-year PhD also taught in English with full scholarship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the programs are available ranging from the bachelor's degree up to a PhD degree. So anyone can pick any, you know, any level that might be suitable for them according to the program as well. And... They are mostly delivered uh, in English as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. it must be easy yeah. for it must be easier for the for the international students. All right. So when it comes, uh, perhaps previously, Clara mentioned about the registration process. So how did how does it go for a Neoma when it comes to registration process? When do you usually open um, the registration period, and what to do? It's already open. We opened it pretty early from September, and we closed here. Uh, either end of June or mid July depends on the program. Normally, for bachelor and the MIM, uh, they have to finish everything in June. But for MSc, we have a bit longer time till mid July for them to apply. Everything is also online. Uh, they just need to Google Apply Neoma. They find a website, register there, choose their preferred program, upload some basic documents. I think it's pretty similar among us, the business schools. But that's really easy. Everything can be done uh, once they have the basic documents. And then we arrange the interview as well. Uh, normally after the yeah. interview, in one or two weeks, they have the results. All right. So when can students particularly expect the, the result? Like, is there any certain period? Um, you mean the uh, after the interview? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like within within which month is it specifically when they can get the, the uh, result? Well, it's on a rolling basis all the year. All ah, right. So whenever okay. they finish application, submit it, so we evaluate and invite them to interview right after. All right. Okay. So it is. Uh, uh, students are served uh, on a rail rolling basis when it comes to registration, yeah, exactly. as well yeah. as the interview and then the the result as well. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Amin. I'm gonna get back to you later. I'm gonna move ahead okay. to the to the next speaker. Thank you. So we also have a person that is coming from uh, Catch Business School. Hello, hello everyone. Hi, Emrick. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I hope you're All doing right. good. All right. So I'm just wondering. So is there any information that you can provide uh, to the prospective students from Indonesia about the programs available at Catch? A business school as well as the registration process sure so we have plenty uh, plenty of options in fact we're the largest business school in france so we also have the widest you know portfolio of programs all taught in english um at bachelor's level we have actually two we have the three-year version and the four-year version the inter mm. most international one being the four-year uh, version then leading to one-year master so it's still a five-year cycle you know for the bachelor plus master um, and uh, yes, it, with this one, four-year uh, bachelor, you can uh, stay either four years in France studying and doing internships, or you can also go up to three countries with double degree options with the US, UK, uh, Germany, and, and other countries. So that's for bachelors. And for masters, we have uh, one-year master options like uh, um, uh, said. And uh, in fact, uh, we have 20 different options going from international business marketing to supply chain, uh, even wine management or arts and creative industries and so on and so forth. I will not list them all, but yes, we have plenty of options. The application process already started as well. Uh, first week of October. So now we're still on. We have an early bird discount for everyone finalizing their application by December 1st. So it's quite important to finalize right now. Even if they are in their final year of uh, uh, bachelor's, they should do it now and then, you know, uh, complete their file later on because we want them to benefit from this early bird discount. And then uh, once they finalize, they have the interview. 
So very similar to what they've heard so far. Uh, within two weeks, three weeks, they have the answer by the time they finalize the application, which is very good because then they have the admission early on. And by the time the French student get their admission, which is in the summer, they already have everything secured with the housing and, uh, and the visa and everything. So they are good to go. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, before December 1st, uh, the registration before December 1st, uh, students who are registering before that time, they are entitled to get a discount for the tuition fee. Am I yes, correct? Exactly. 10%. All right. Okay. 10% of tuition fee for registration if you you know you if you register before December 1st. So you better do it right now. <laughs> yes. Go get that uh, discount for the tuition fee and hopefully everything is going to get settled just like Emery said uh, by summer next year. So you're going to have a smooth start leading up to the new academic year. All right. Okay. Thank you uh Emerick. I'm going to go ahead uh to representative from Eska. Thank you. So hi Eska over there. So yeah, how how am I like how am I supposed to address you? How how do I call you? Like Li Qing? Li Qing, Li Qing. Okay, Li Qing. So can you share us? Uh, you know, can you share a little bit of information with us about the programs at Eska and the registration oh. process as well? Of course. So Eska is a school. Uh, initially, we were from uh, Angers, which is a city not very far from Paris. But nowadays, we have developed ourselves into a education group. So today, we have uh, six campuses in France and the four campuses overseas. And so uh, students can choose um, among many campuses. And in France, uh, in, we, in France, we have Paris, Lyon, and Angers. These are three main campuses where we host uh, international students. So uh, mm -hmm. all the courses are taught in English. And for the courses, uh, we target uh, like undergraduate student, uh, like undergraduate students and high school students, all students with a bachelor degree already. Uh, so for high school students, we have two kinds of programs. One is a three-year bachelor in international management. Another is a five-year program. I think it's quite unique uh, among uh, my colleagues today. Uh, none of them have uh, this program. So this is a five-year program program combining the undergraduate and uh, the master cycle students uh, stay with us after high school, stay with, with us for five years and can get a, a master's degree directly. And this one is also ranked number one in France. Uh, and we also have uh, uh, like uh, programs for undergraduate students. So we have a two-year master in management with uh, in, inside the management, inside the master in management, you have uh, uh, eight majors taught in English. You can choose in finance and marketing, et cetera. And we also have uh, like other colleagues, we have one year MSc uh, in like luxury management, uh, AI management, uh, uh, finance and uh, data analysis, etc. So students can choose according to their own career plan, according to their interest. And uh, for the uh, application process, it's the same as the other schools. We have a rolling process. So students can submit their uh, application anytime. For, um, we open our application from October to the end of June. So uh, anytime during the year, they can submit their application. It's a rolling process. So once they validated the application, we will evaluate the document and organize the interview for them. And after the interview, they will know the result very quickly in a few days. Uh, we also provide an early bird scholarship, so I would recommend the students to apply early if they would they like to join uh, join the school uh, in September two thousand twenty four. Uh, we have uh, our deadline is February fifteenth, and uh, uh, the early bird uh, tuition fee waiver represents fifteen uh, percent of the tuition fee first year tuition fee. Okay, so fifteen percent uh, of the tuition fee uh, before. Yeah. Uh, February? Before February 15. Okay, so before February 15, you should go ahead if you want to apply uh, to ESCA to get the 15% of the, the tuition fee, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, so Li Cheng, I'd like to continue a little bit with you before I proceed to the, uh, going back to the other speakers. So mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, uh, so one of the, one of the questions that normally students from Indonesia uh, are actually wondering about is actually, what if this is actually their first time going overseas? Is there any mm -hmm. particular assistance from the school in terms oh. of how to help the students to adapt themselves to the local life, you know, 
uh, be it in uh, Alger or in uh, in other uh, locations of the school. So, is there yes. any any immersion program like that, especially for yeah. the for the language as well? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, we know that for foreign students, if they come to France, it will be like if it's their, especially if it's their first time, it might be tough to adapt to a new environment. So we provide them all kinds of helps. Uh, we have international desks uh, in uh, uh, like on different international campuses, Paris, Lyon, and Angers. And there, our colleagues will take care of the students. And uh, from uh, once when they are admitted, to confirm their enrollment. So we would provide them all the necessary information firstly for housing already we have housing service we don't have our own accommodation uh, but uh, we do prob we do have uh, many agreements with students residents and so uh, we provide their uh, necessary information we also have uh, a website housing.sk.fr FR, uh, where students can, once they are admitted, they can find uh, uh, like useful information, accommodation information on that. And of course, uh, we help them. Uh, they can find all kinds of info information online about insurance, about medi uh, medical visit, about yeah, all the practical information. And once when they arrive at SDAR, we have always orientation days where they can mingle with all the other international students. We organize activities, so we organize uh, city tours, and and also, uh, we have um, like uh, uh, international, of course, international desk. Uh, the our uh, local colleagues they will meet up with students and uh, help them to get to know each other. And we also have uh, mentors for them. If uh, uh, like during their study, uh, if they have any difficulties, they can also uh, talk with mentors and uh, get help. Uh, yeah, so all this, uh, all this kind of support. Uh, uh, talking about language, because of course the uh, their courses are all taught in English, but we do provide French language courses. So at the same time, uh, you know, parallel to their uh, 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 like study, they can also study French language, which might help them a lot in their daily life. So yeah, we do provide all kinds of. Uh, uh, support and of course they are welcome more than welcome to join the the student association and uh, you know integrate the 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 students' life uh, as much as possible. All right. Okay. Thank you. So apart from the international desk for every location, you also have housing service where yes. students will be able to find information about accommodation. Although yes. there is no dedicated dorms for students uh, at ESCA, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they can have access kinds of accommodation that they would exactly. prefer uh, for, mm -hmm. for their study period and uh, there are also orientation days and then mentors and then French language courses that will be able to yeah. help them to immerse yeah. themselves in, in the local language yeah. so, right yeah, yeah. And also we do have also a student association formed by French students. So they are willing to help, you know, uh, their buddies uh, there, uh, like, you know, to to uh, to form buddies with international students. So they can exchange among themselves and, uh, you know, uh, they can also help international students to adapt, integrate better the local life. Yeah. All right. OK, so there is also a buddy system where, yeah. you know, where students can get a buddy yes. that will be able to help them better immerse themselves in the local yes. life. So that's yes. a really, there's really, really good idea. That's perhaps something that people are actually looking for because when moving overseas yeah. for the first time, that could be, you know, quite a, uh, kind of scary. So exactly. having that system yeah. would be, you know, yeah. Yeah. Would, would actually give them a better, you know, a peace of mind. So they're yeah. not going to be, you know, so too terrified when it comes to starting out a exactly. new life overseas. Thank you so yeah. much, Nikhil. So I'm going to move ahead, uh, back to Clara. Yeah. So Clara, are you still there? I'm here. Yeah. So can you share a little bit about the system or, you know, any kind of programs that you have to help to better help international students to adapt to the local life? Yes, of course. Um, well, as same thing as the, as the previous colleague from from ESCA, um, we do have a, a body system. Well, the the main advantage I'll say about EM Strasbourg is that since we are a component of uh, the University of Strasbourg, students are not only students from our school but also from the university, which means that they can access all the activities that or, are organized uh, directly by by the university. Which means ex also the, everything that uh, regards international students, uh, body system, etc. Um, which means that there are 
extremely a lot of activities that are avail available to them. Um, also, and most importantly, uh, is our ambassador program. Uh, we have international students that um, that are there uh, to help newcomers throughout the entire process of application, but also when they arrive. Uh, before their arrival, actually, they help them with uh, finding housing, whether it is with uh, our own partners or other uh, available housing in shared flats, etc. Um, so this, this, these are the, the main uh, aspects. Then we also have our international relations office, of course, uh, which organizes a lot of activities throughout the year. Um, our students associations, of course, um, that also organize a lot of activities, whether it is particularly for international students uh, or also sports activities, etc. Et um, regarding the International Relations Office, actually, they organize activities such as uh, cheese tasting or a, a particular event that we call Planet EM, uh, where uh, French students and international students actually get to share uh, each other's cultures. They, they they have a little stand, they can bring their own food, share their own music. Uh, last year we had Chinese students doing um, uh, writing uh, workshop, uh, then they did karaoke, all these kind of things that uh, are organized. And I would say lastly, uh, the fact that we work closely with uh, the French Alliance, Alliance Francaise, uh, here in Strasbourg, uh, gives our students access to all their activities, whether it is city tours or uh, visits around the, the Alsace region, uh, or again, other activities, um, uh, cultural visits, or um, they get the, the possibility of uh, dining at a French family or um, staying with a, with a host family uh, before they arrive, uh, well, when they arrive here uh, in, uh, in Strasbourg. So these are all the different things that are uh, organized by by your school usually it, it works uh, quite well fortunately all right so apart from the ambassador program where you have students helping other students to prepare themselves prior to the departure prior to their arrival uh, at the school you also have like I, I, uh, international relations office that is responsible to organize different activities for the students as well mm -hmm. and uh, I think I think it's pretty interesting where you provide uh, some kind of space for students to share uh, their culture with each other so they would get a you know better idea and better understanding about each other's cultures as well and i think uh, one should not uh, definitely miss the collaboration with the with the alliance Française, where you get to get to know better about the french culture especially about the things that you mentioned earlier having you know having a meal having dinner with you know uh, french uh, families as well i think it's a it's a really good uh, program for international students to be able to get a better taste of France, I think. <laughs> Not exactly. only about the food, but also interacting about the uh, with the locals as well. Exactly. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Clara. So I'm going to go back to uh, Min uh, at Neoma. Are you still there? Yes, yes, I'm still here. I'm listening very carefully. <laughs> we, we share some of the same activities as others. Uh, yeah. Talking about the language adaption and the language, uh, we also offer language courses at uh, all different programs integrated in the curricular. They can choose French, uh, get some credits uh, to make friends with all the French local students because in all the programs, uh, we are all mixing the French and the international. All our own students, they are, I mean, from France, they are also learning in English. So there is already a good integration in the class. And then we have 97 student associations uh, on three campuses each year, just to give some number. We organize 500 student activities all over the year on different cities. And I know in particular, there's one student association called the Culture uh, Culture Co. They uh, connect, collect uh, different uh, events uh, to such as visiting Disneyland or the Normandy coast, they get international students out a bit in a city, uh, suburban area. And also they have a very interesting uh, event, like a running table. In the evening, they, they uh, run around different students' apartments and they all cook their own local food. So that's a very interesting thing. They can uh, learn about others, making new friends. And something also, we would like to mention is our international service. We have the Bienvenue 
know, France, the label from Campus France. That means uh, they really recognize our level and the service for international students as a very good service. So that means we take extremely good care of them from a visa to housing. And when they are on the campus, everything will be covered. So they don't have to worry and they will not be bored when they come. Okay. So 97 student associations and 500 student activities all year long. So I think that's quite like more, more than enough platform for students yeah. to get to know each other and then, you know, to, to introduce themselves to another culture and get to know better about their, their classmates and, you know, people beyond their classmates as well. And the, the trip that you mentioned to Normandy, I think it is going to be pretty interesting as well not to be stuck in the in the compound for too long, in the school compound for too long. So students can also explore different areas, different regions as well, and they could definitely learn something from that. Okay, thank you so much, Min. I'm going to go ahead to Emmerich. Are you still there? Yeah. Sure, yes. Yeah. So what, what can you share about students' activities and about student immersion program for those who, uh, fortunate, unfortunately, perhaps yes. being the uh, first time studying overseas? Any Thank assistance or programs from Catch? Well, you know, it's it's quite similar to what uh, me and Clara and uh, Li Ching said. Uh, it's pretty much standard for like top 10 business schools in France. We have in individual support when it comes to housing, uh, visa, uh, on arrival, you know, welcome process. Also, uh, intercultural exchange, language training. So it's buddy system. So everything what, that was mentioned, we also have. Uh, I would like to compliment by saying that we do that as much as possible prior to the arrival. So to make sure that the students arrive in the best conditions possible. So our dedicated housing unit, they help them. You know, we have more than 100 uh, partnerships with local uh, housing uh, companies in town or close to the campus so they have plenty of options and also we take care of them you know as per their individual needs and their financial abilities so we do that when it comes to a language barrier i would like to say that you know also friends so besides the fact that all the programs are in english and also campus life is fully in english you know the clubs we've mentioned uh, we also have more than 60 uh, in at catch business school so basically the campus life is fully in english now when you step outside of campus um French is not as much needed as it used to be like 10 years ago. So even as a French person, I can I can feel it. Uh, we are internationalizing not only at the higher education level, but also on the at the professional level on the job market. So students find internships in English, in France. Uh, they can, you know, live their daily life also in English. The younger generations of people, they speak uh, pretty good English. Uh, having said that, we still support for French classes. So we offer free French classes even before they arrive in France. We give them access to uh, the platform where they can start the French uh, lessons. And um, and for intercultural events, we yeah we try to highlight as much as possible all the nationalities and cultures we have on campus. We have plenty of festivals, events, you know. Uh, but for the French culture, introdu introduction to the French culture, um, we have what we call the French Touch Tour. So students have the option to uh, go for one to two weeks of French experience tour, and they visit, you know, famous uh, museums, vineyards, iconic companies in France, so that they can, you know, get the feel of what it is uh, being and doing business with French people. So um, we try yes to to facilitate that and uh, and the whole process. Okay, thank you so much, Emric. Uh, after this, I'm gonna you know start the discussion about scholarship and then uh, about the the career support as well because that's something that prospective students from Indonesia would like to know. But before that, I'd like to continue with Emmerich. So Emmerich, uh, we have started receiving different questions from uh, from our audience online, and one of them is uh, asking about Catch Business School. So uh, perhaps you can mention you can elaborate a little bit further if. Catch Business School has any PhD program available at the moment, uh, because this you this this audience like this uh this person is interested in applying for the PhD school at Catch Business School. All right. So yes, we have programs from bachelor's to PhDs. Um, in fact, ap applications for PhD programs are a bit special. Uh, it's really one on one with the fa faculty members. So we have a dedicated page on the website. Uh, for PhD, it's PhD in business administration. 
but uh, we have plenty of specialties. In fact, our areas of uh, expertise in terms of research, they are like supply chain, uh, new tech in finance, uh, wine and food management. So, so it's it's quite varied. So in fact, within the business management field, you can find different specialties. So if they find a faculty member that has this kind of expertise that they connects well with what they've done so far at master's level, then they can reach out and, and connect. It's really one-on-one -on -one tailor-made kind of approach at PhD level. All right. So when it comes to the PhD program, it's a little bit different from the bachelor's and the master's where yes. you got to reach out to the to your preferred faculty member uh, if they have any any topic or any, any research project that might be similar to what you're pursuing. So you could get uh, in touch with them on one-on-one -on -one basis and have a conversation about how they can better help you to shape your PhD program, is it? Yeah, exactly. It's better to connect with the faculty member directly to to discuss, you know, technicalities and the, and the research per se. But in fact, still, the application platform is uh, is quite standardized. I can share, in fact, the link in the chat if, uh, if that's a good option. I don't know. Uh, but basically, we have a dedicated page and they can, uh, in fact, um, get in touch with the representative for that program. And uh, it, it's uh, it's better to get in touch by email. All right. Okay. So you would suggest reaching out to the faculty member by email and then have a further conversation about yes. the PhD program. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Emery. So I think I would like to uh, go back to uh, Clara first. So Clara, what can you share about the scholarship programs that are available uh, at the EMS Strasbourg? as well as the career support that you might have for international students who, you know, they might be wondering after school, what am I going to do? And is there any any uh, program or assistance provided by, by EM Strasbourg for that? Okay. Um, so first of all, regarding the scholarships, I think it, it's, it's important to indicate that due to the fact that we are a component uh, directly linked to a public university, the tuition fees of, of our school are... Um, particularly low when compared to other business schools in France. Um, mm. But of course, we, we still wish that the, the financial situation of uh, students is not an obstacle for uh, to integrate our, our school, which is why uh, we provide excellent scholarships according to the academic level of the students, um, whether it is during the competition at the admission process. Um, at the end of the year, we uh, establish a, a level that they need to, to attain, and those who are um, able to get it, they, they will get an an email from from on our end. Um, we do also provide, as uh, other colleagues said uh, before, um, early bird uh, for students finishing their application by the end of, of January. So it's ten percent off the tuition fee. Um, and uh, also for students that complete their bachelor program with us and wish to pursue their uh, education further with uh, the master's in, in management program, they also get 10% of the, uh, the tuition fees of the, the master program. Um, I think it is also important to refer that um, regarding the cost of living, etc., there are a lot of helps from the uh, the French government and uh, most of the programs with uh, within business schools um, have what we call co-op or alternance, where they study and they work at the same time and they uh, get their tuition fees paid by the company that hires them, uh, while also uh, earning a salary each month. Okay. So that's one of the of the things uh, regarding the financial aspect. Then um, regarding uh, everything that is uh, professional uh, guidance, let's say, um, well, we have what we call the, the CAP career, which is a, a department uh, specializing in uh, accompanying students uh, with uh, their uh, professional integration um, in the job market. Uh, so they help whether it is uh, at first when they, they when they arrive, they need to adapt to the, the, the French uh, job market, uh, how to uh, Presentate, uh, present yourself. Sorry, in a, in an interview here in France. What are the employers waiting from the student? Uh, how to create a cover letter, a CV that corresponds to to what is uh, expected, uh, and also, of course, to adapt it to the market that they're uh, applying to. If they are applying to an international uh, company. 
Um, so that's that's one thing. And then um, they also have what we call the, the possibility of having a, a professional gap year, uh, which means that after they finish the, their studies, they can uh, remain uh, or keep the, the, the student status uh, and have a more uh, fluid transition into the professional world, world or whether it is by uh, keeping um, a contract with a company while still being a student or uh, uh, getting a, an internship, um, often the, the the company uh, ends up proposing a, a definite contract or permanent contract for those students uh, doing that that kind of uh, choice. All right. So you mentioned earlier about this scholarship. So it's excellent scholarship. Uh, it's applicable for for uh, for bachelors for uh, masters as well. Yes, both programs. Okay, and and does it cover like? How many percent, like, is it a health tuition fee or a full tuition fee will, will be covered by the scholarship? It's half uh, a tuition fee. Uh, what we will do is that we will uh, deduct uh, half of the tuition fee from uh, for the year they come. First, they, they have to make a down payment, so they will uh, get exemption for the rest of the amount that they, they would need to pay. All right. Okay. So down, down payment is required, but if you get the excellent scholarship, you're gonna get fifty percent off the tuition fee for the for the following academic year. Exactly. All right. Okay. Okay. And and the decap career as well. I think uh it is something that prospective students need to take into account. So if you're going to EM Strasbourg, they already have a platform. They already have a system where you're gonna get assistance to enter the professional world. So I think that's one of the advantages of actually uh joining the uh, EM Strasbourg. Thank you so much, Clara. Thank you. So uh, I'm going to go back to Li Ching. Are you still there? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So what, what can you share about the scholarship and the career support program? Hmm. Actually, for the scholarship, I already said we have the early bird scholarship, uh, which is automatic. Once the students, uh, they are enrolled, they can benefit from that 15% uh, of the first year tuition fee. And then we also have uh, excellent scholarship. Uh, which is from 10% to 25% of the first year tuition fee. Uh, so this one, uh, the students, they don't need to submit any special application. It will be decided automatically by a jury uh, after they, after students are admitted. And it can be accumulated with the early bird one. So these are the two main uh, uh, scholarships. And of, we also have a, a high potential scholarship, which is high. Uh, it can be up to 80% of the first year tuition fee. So it's really high. But we don't. We only provide it to really top, top students. So we got uh, three scholarships uh, every year for, for top students, uh, the high potential one. Uh, but I, I think uh, from my experience, the international students, they have a good chance to get uh, at least the excellent scholarship. Last year, according to our figures, 60% of our international students benefit from the from the excellent scholarship. So, um, yeah, so there's a good chance. But at least if they apply early enough, they can always get early bird. <laughs> Okay. And uh, um, yeah. So in terms of the uh, career uh, career service, of course, uh, uh, I think I think all in uh, in all the business schools we have career uh, service. So uh, we do have a lot of connections with the corporate world. We receive regularly uh, their offers, job offers, internship offers. Uh, they they would send directly to our website to our intra, uh, intranet, and we also organize like career days, uh, big career days where we welcome welcome all the big companies or specific career days in a certain like management field like in auditing for example luxury or uh, consumer goods etc so um uh, we really our goal is really to establish a very strong connection between companies our partner companies and the students and of course we have workshops which help students to uh, better prepare their themselves for the job market like prepare their interview their cv and uh, and uh, and uh, uh you know well define their career goal etc and also we have uh, um we have like students can mingle with companies uh, like on a daily basis because companies can like come to share the ex expertise come to do their presentation or you know uh they can be uh, speakers for uh, conferences or workshops so I think if a student in a business school, if a student, uh, he or she really take a full advantage of the uh, all the resources that a uh, school provide, 
uh, then it's possible to establish a very good connection with the corporate world and also, you know, uh, get to know the field of the management that he or she really wants to develop his career or her career in. So uh, I think uh, for this, uh, yeah, we do we do our best to support them. Okay. All right. So that career date is actually something that people should check out. I think it's going to mm -hmm. be very much helpful uh, to assist students to discover potential opportunities for them once they graduate yeah. from the school. All right. Sure. Thank you so much, Lee Ching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead uh, moving to uh, Min. Are you still there? Yes, of course. So right. uh, I think they've covered some of the topics we also offer. And then for scholarship, we have a little bird as well. The deadline is end of January. If you are admitted, uh, we offer 1,000 euros for everyone who would accept our offer. And then on top of that, is the, there is a merit-based excellence scholarship. This year, we increased it the highest amount to 6,000 euros. So if you have a good profile after admission, we will propose to you to apply with another very simple application form. You will know how much you can get. Um, I would like to mention, apart from our school scholarship, there is government scholarship. You should all try. Which the biggest one, the most competitive one, of course, is the IFL scholarship. Um, two years ago, we have an Indonesia student who got it. Uh, once they have it, the French government will offer them uh, more than one thousand euros per month for their living. Of course, they still pay the tuition fee, but they can apply for our school scholarship at the same time. So we really encourage good candidates to apply as soon as possible because the deadline for us to nominate will be uh, end of November. You need to be admitted by us in the master program before that deadline. Um, this is a very important information I would like to share. And then talking about career service, I'd like to give you some numbers. We offer, uh, like other schools, very good uh, career training and the service. We have a dedicated team. They have 40 counselors on each campus. So each student can meet them from day one till they graduate uh, for booking individualized uh, career training or advising or coaching. Uh, each year during uh, the academic year, we have 1,700 this kind of booking, this kind of coaching uh, activities. And we have another website where we post a lot of internship and a job, a fair job offers, nearly uh, 98,000 offers there. So they, if they make very good of it, they can have plenty of opportunities to find a good uh, internship and full-time job. And on average, we have a, a number that all our students in bachelor and master's, 100%, they find job within six months uh, after graduation. So that's good um, proof that we have this strong career support for all of them. Then one last thing to mention, the networking with real companies is in each courses, in each program. Many companies, they are already our official partners. For example, Prada in our international luxury management, uh, BMW in our new program we opened this year, uh, sustainability transformation. And also, for example, KPMG is our partner in, international, uh, in entrepreneurship and innovation. So you have plenty of opportunities to connect with those companies when you are studying. They come to share uh, lectures to give real expertise what is happening there in the real business world. So you can already connect with them. That's also why we want you to know, make uh, good use of these resources and connections during your study. Then you shouldn't worry too much not being able to find good internship and jobs. So that's what we would like to share. Hope it's okay. helpful. Thank you so much, uh, Min. So a few things that I noted was actually you provide career coaching and then uh, six months uh, after graduation, all the uh, all the graduates find a job. So that's a really, really good sign from Neho Business School. And don't forget that you can combine different scholarships together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, one, one covering your uh your tuition fee, and the other one is covering your living cost, which is really good. So thank you so much, uh, Min. And I would like to go back to Emmerich. 
for one last speaker. After okay. this, we're going to provide opportunities for each school to uh, promote their school for one last time before we close the session. So, Emery, what can you share about the uh, the career coaching program or, you know, say any similar program or a career support program and scholarship as well? Sure. Yeah, what I would like to, to say is that in Indonesian students, they need to understand that uh, our type of schools here in this session, all of us, we are so we are called Grand École, which means uh, elite schools. And what they have in common is that we guarantee sort of uh, employability. So at Ketch, for example, and the, the higher in the ranking, of course, the more, uh, uh, the higher the percentage of employability and the salary, the entry salary. So basically at Ketch, we have 100% within four months post-graduation maximum. Uh, most uh, graduates actually before graduation, they uh, get a full-time position and the uh, entry salary on average would be 45 to 50,000 euros. So this, how do we do it? Um, we do it because at the institutional level, we have all those career services we've mentioned so far. Um, you know, so coaching for CV, cover letters, uh, networking, these kind of things. Also, we have uh, an alumni network, which is very valuable. Uh, Cash is the largest of all those grand écoles, 80,000 worldwide at top executive positions. So they post uh, internship and job offers on a daily basis in the exclusive uh, platform that we have available for all uh, Cash students. And the second way is that each of our programs has a cluster of partners, you know, corporate partners. And these uh, companies, so they sponsor the program. So we have Microsoft, we have uh, CMA, CGM, so big cargo companies. We have the big banks as well, depending on the programs. They co-design the curriculum and they come and teach. They also welcome students into their companies for some sessions. And they also wait for their the graduates uh, at the exit door with internships and jobs. So that's also how we guarantee this employability through a mix of uh, institutional network uh, services and also the like a partnership with the corporations. Um, now, when it comes to scholarships, so we have also um, uh, excellent scholarship, diversity scholarship, solidarity scholarship, depending on the profile of the student. And the amount of scholarship depends also on uh, individual cases. So yeah. when they apply, there is a section, dedicated section for scholarship application. They uh, write they, their motivation statement, the reasons why they deserve the scholarship or they need it. And then uh, the admission is given based on an interview for all the programs, bachelor, master's. And the program director has so limited seats you know, available for admission. But if they really want the student to be taking that seat, they can also convince the student by, you know, increasing the level of scholarship that they would like to give. So this is how it works for us. Okay, so the student applies for it, depending on the, like, the way they deserve or need it. And then the program director during the interview decides uh, what amount they would give. Okay. Okay, that's a really good thing to hear that you guys actually have a relatively higher employability when it comes to uh, the graduates from your school, uh, which is going to be uh, a determining factor for students when it comes to choosing the school. So thank you so much again for the uh, for the uh, speakers that we have today. Thank you so much. It's really good uh, to have uh, each one of you introducing your school. Unfortunately, we already have to close the session because the session is over. And we're going to share the, more information about uh, each school on the screen. Uh, and then uh, what else? I think that's all for now. Uh, thank you so much for the questions coming from YouTube as well. So uh, I hope that we can meet again in the next occasion. So good afternoon or good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us uh, right from France. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank See you. you Bye-bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye.